Hi guys, just another quick one. I'm going to start doing these quite a lot now. Um, just very, very small quick tips. The other day I done the key to consistency of your of your contact adhesive by uh, by means of thinning it down. Today I want to just do a quick one to show you how to apply it. Now a lot of people they really 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 dollop it on and there is just no need at all. The key for this to get um, a good bond is a nice thin layer. And then if you want an if you want it more like I tend to do is you add two layers. You know by dolloping absolutely loads of um, contact adhesive on doesn't doesn't benefit you at all. What you want is a very thin layer like that and it will dry nice and evenly all over. Then you won't have big, like when it's dried, big lumpy dollops everywhere. Which will just smudge and, and, and move around when you come to put the two pieces together. Um, and that's not what you want. So I thought I'd just share this quick tip with you. That's what you want, a very thin layer. And then if you let that um, penetrate the pores... And when that's completely dry, come back, put a second layer on, um, and then you're away then to push the two pieces together. Adjust it nicely um, until you're happy with where it needs to be, and then press fit them together. Um, you get a little window of being able to adjust it. As long as you just touch them together, you'll get a little bit, and then and then once you push them together, then you'll set the two pieces together. Okay, um, so that's another quick tip. Um, I'll start doing these here and there when I can. Okay, guys, bye for now all. Take care, Lee.